is uh, 930 right now. Dealing with the loss of a parent can be difficult really at any age. And it can be especially hard if that loss is sudden or unexpected. Well, there's a book by a local author and her granddaughters. It's hoping to help other kids through the loss of a parent. It is called Ruby and Onyx and the Magical Pillow Adventure. It's written by Wanda williams Bow and her two granddaughters. And Wanda is uh, the mother of Monique Bow. Excuse me, Bow. Pardon me, Bow. And Fox 9 has covered Monique's case uh, pretty extensively. Uh, she was a real estate agent who was murdered in 2019 after police say that she was lured into a fake showing. After Monique's death, Wanda has helped raise Monique's two daughters. And Wanda joins us now in studio. Thank you for being here. Hi, thank I know you. it's even hard to look at that. So I, we are so grateful that you're here talking about this book and the resources that you are now giving to other families who are going through what you guys have gone through and are continuing to go through. So thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Can thank you me. talk us through how this even came to be? Mm -hmm. Did one of the girls come to you? Did you have the idea? How, how does one decide, I'm going to write a children's book? I'm going to tell you, it was um, nights of reading lots of books to the girls, and um, one day, one night, I said, you know, do you guys want to make our own book? And they both were like, yeah, and I'm like, let's do it. And I'm going to be honest, it took about six months or so before it came around for me to actually put it in play. Um, there were nights when we would read stories, Legend loved princess books, Legacy loved Superman. <laughs> so I was finding myself reading two books a night, and I was tired. <laughs> and so I was finally, it was in Legacy, read another one. I said, you know, can we just, let's make up our own stories. So we were making up our own stories. And um, that's where it came about when I was like, you want to just write our own book, you know? and and um, so then as six months later, we put it in play, or I put it in play, and, and um, the girls really put a hand in this. They were they, using their imaginations, and so there's a character in the book named Jakey that came from legend, and uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. Well, the, going through this experience, uh, I would imagine that, you, well, I would hope that you've uh, found other grandparents that have kind of been in the position of raising their grandkids mm. after the loss of the child's parents. What has that community been like for you, and, and what have you learned from other grandparents? You know, I learned that um, everyone's grief is different. Um, but it's grief still yet, I mean, but it's different. And they find different ways to get through it. Some, you know, and um, in faith, I, I do, I'm, I'm a big believer in Jesus Christ and I wouldn't be able to get as far as I have without him. And then also um, just finding different ways to, um, to, to keep the kids and keep their parents' memory alive. That's kind of the way I kind of struggle with a little because I don't want to overwhelm them with, you know, mommy, mommy, mommy. But I also want them, you know, her to, Monique to be remembered by her daughters. And I like to share stories with them. Um, so yeah, I, I'm sorry if I got off of, of topic of your question, but no, not at all. And that, yeah. that's part of the book too, is finding a connection with mom. Yes, and absolutely. The pillow and and, and mm -hmm. finding those ways that's age appropriate mm -hmm. to have them have conversations about their mom. Because like you said, you don't, you don't want them to, to never talk about her. That right. would be awful. But you also can't have it be every single conversation is about their mom. Exactly. I want them to be able to find some normalcy in life. Um, normal would be mm -hmm. to have their mother raise them, but that's not the case. That wasn't, um, you know, uh, unfortunately, they don't have her. Yeah. Um, but I want them to be able to still know that she was, you know, she was here, she does love them, she did love them, and she was going to, I mean, she was mm -hmm. the best mommy. She could have been the best mommy, but um, I just want them to be able to, to know that their mom is dear to them, and if we can even use our imagination and creativity to uh, keep her, you know, alive. She's through this journey with yeah. us, that's for sure. She's, she's through the journey with us. Let's talk about that journey and the whole idea of publishing and writing the book. Mm -hmm. I, I would imagine that was probably a therapeutic process for all of you and they probably learned a lot about 
that you know writing a book and what it takes yeah. to do that mm -hmm. and, and the illustrations explain yes. what, uh, how that all came together oh, well oh, uh, we collectively as a family um, matter of fact the illustrator had legend in something completely different uh, and um, legends like oh no can I have a uh, hot pink tank top and a black skirt <laughs> and, uh, said, absolutely yeah. you sure certainly can <laughs> so every time we got some you know an update from the illustrator we would all sit around the computer and um, you know Legacy loved her, you know, everything about her. She loved, wanted her puff puffs and she got it. So anyways, mm -hmm. it was, yeah, it was, um, it, they, they, it, they, it was a, a, a collaborative, um, collaboration between us all. Sure. So, yeah. it, you know, if anyone has gone through this and you mentioned you've reached out to families and families I'm sure have reached out to you kind of walking through this process that hopefully no one ever goes through. Yeah. But there is some sort of community in that knowing that you're not the only one who has gone through this. You guys mm -hmm. unfortunately as a family have had to relive this multiple times. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to get into the legal aspects and all of that but there's been a lot of back and forth. Things happen. There's appeals and all of that. Mm -hmm. How do you stay focused on yourself and the girls um, when there is so much of the other stuff that still has to work through the court system. Honestly, I try not to think much about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's hard to. I know it's there, but if I focused on uh, what happened to Monique and the whole legal, you know, process, you know, day in day out. Matter of fact, just yesterday, I got um, got the, you know, got the news and that, um, you know, we're gonna have to go through this again. Is now right, 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 you know, and and it happens. Mistakes happen, but it doesn't change. It doesn't change. The, it doesn't change how I feel, or it doesn't change the evidence. Sure. So I, I know where we're, we're headed, and, and I'm confident that we'll go back to trial, and and we'll get another guilty, another guilty verdict. So um, you know, I, my heart goes out to the families that don't have this opportunity. Sure. That I've been through this, you know, multiple times. But I think about Anaya Allen, that beautiful baby. You know, her mm -hmm. family has not been able to get justice, and I pray that they 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 do get, you know, one day get their day in court. You know, you know, you have such a big heart. You're thinking mm. about other families, and and really, you, you appear to have just like the best kind of you know way through this. And just like you know what, mistakes happen. Mm -hmm. We'll just go through. We'll have to go through this again. It's Absolutely. not. Uh, it's not ideal, but that you know that is your ultimate uh, goal. And of course, the the way that she died is not who she was. It was it was just a part of that storyline. Mm -hmm. um, if you can, just speaking of stories, if you have one uh, that you'd like to share as far as a memory that maybe you like to you know talk to you about with your granddaughters Oh, we, you know, as far as with their mom, with, with their mom. Yeah. You, know, this, I, you know, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I will have to say this as far as a story. Um, I was just coming back here. I was all panicked, and uh, <laughs> the, the the guy that walked me back here, and he's like, hey, "It's okay." I'm like, "Well, you know, Monique would always say, my daughter Monique would always tell me, Mom, calm down.' You know, yeah. and it's funny because Legend says the same thing to me. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> "Calm down," and I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, all right, that's Monique." Oh, yeah, there you go. She's working her way. Through, yes, yeah, yes. through her, yeah, through her girls. Great. But when I do tell the girls that they, anything they say that reminds them of, you know, I tell them that reminds them of their mother, their face just lights up. Like, yeah. oh, yeah. Bad. Wanda, thank you so much. You're very really welcome. Thank you. you both for having me. Yes. Thank you so much. For sure. Thank you. If you would like to learn more and get a copy of the book, it's called Ruby and Onyx and the it's on Magical Amazon. Pillow Adventure. It's available on Amazon and other local bookstores now here in the Metro.